dad would do well, and then he'd crash well and crash. So I never knew where we stood in the socioeconomic order. That's why I like making movies about underdogs. The imitation game, you know, the king's speech, the stuttering king, you know, the lion. To me, I'm still the underdog. I felt that way when I was young, and sometimes I still feel that way. When they first came into my office, and there was one scene that just seemed so out of left field. You know, it was a scene where there was a, a, a relationship between the two professors. And I said, that was a strange scene. And uh, I said, I, I do not quite understand it. They said, you're the only guy uh, in any studio who actually must have read the thing because they wrote it to see whether somebody would bring it up or not. And I was the only one. So it was love at first sight. I don't think you do know when something's going to be you. And certainly when I read the script for Lion, that probably the furthest thing from my mind. I think it moved me emotionally. My wife, Georgina, um, you know, a lot of her clothing inspiration came from India. When we got married, she said, no gifts. You know, I'm, I'm gonna build a school in India. And me, I, I have a lot of rich friends, so I was kind of hoping we were gonna get gifts. I wanted, you know, that way I can measure them and you know, say, God, you cheap, whatever. She built a school called the Royal School in India. So I read that script, and it hit me so hard, this movie that I had to make it. The only regret is that I didn't get the name back. Bob Iger, who is a, you know, currently runs the place, was very much for us getting the name back. You know, the people who were above him at the time were very much against it. I think they thought they were gonna recreate what we did. My mom always wanted it, you know, that you know, her son's name a company after her, and they can't keep it, just to keep the name. It takes its toll on you, the work, the work, and you wish you could be, you know, me in particular, Love to be less temperamental. I, I, each year I get less and less, but I started so high. You remember the chipping away at that mountain. It would be much better to take two seconds and just be conscientious and not just be so much in the moment that you have to do that. Well, there was a film I wanted to distribute you know, that taught me not to be late for screenings. I went to see a movie called Nikita and Luke Bassan is a friend, and I was 15 minutes late for the screening. And if you miss the first 15 minutes of that movie, you don't understand that she was a psychopath who, you know, robbed people and killed people, and then they were reforming her. Luke thought, you know, well, I would, you know, we would, Miramax, we would take the film, but I didn't get it. It was outrageous how stupid I was. I'm working my dream. It's hard to maintain. But, you know, I feel that we've done a lot of, you know, great things. And at the same time, it beats a lot of things. This is a truly fulfilling, you know, thing to do. And I'm very, very lucky to do this every day. I should pinch myself and say thank you.